Hi guys, this is Stephanie with my Simply Creative Designs. Today I'm coming to you to show you how to make this beautiful floral card. Uh, it's all inked with uh, various colors of ink from Stephanie Bernard at the Stamps of Life. And I'm going to show you how to make this today. So let me go ahead and show you all the things that you're going to need to be able to create this project. First thing you're going to need are the Sizzix Framelits drop-in dies. Uh, this particular one is the uh, one that says make a wish and cheers on the front of it. It has scalloped edges and then the uh, insert where we're going to be doing all of our stamps has uh, scallops with these little holes cut out of it. The next thing you're going to need is the Flower Power to Fill uh, ink set. That was the June 2016 Stamp and Die release set from the Stamps of Life. You're going to need grape colored twine or any of the other colors from the flowers you're going to use. I just chose um, grape. You're going to need a glitter guava colored button and a kiwi colored button that we're going to use as the centers of a couple of our flowers. And then I used tons of... Um, dual colored inks. So I used a darker colored yellow banana and a lighter colored yellow lemonade. I used grape and pixie. I used artichoke and kiwi, ocean and sea glass. So these are all just kind of a darker and a lighter shade from the same family. I used guava and candy colored dye. And then the last one that I used is blueberry and sky. Now, what happens if you don't have 12 inks? You don't have six pairs of ink that have a darker and a lighter shade. What can you do? Well, in that case, what you can do is just use a black ink. You could take and do all the outlines of the flowers in that black ink, and then you could choose uh, either darker or lighter of each one of the rainbow of colors we're using on the flowers, and you can only have colors on the inside of the flowers if you don't have that many different colored inks. Totally fine. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your dies and you're going to cut out the base of the card. So the card base, this is the part that is the back and inside of the card, and this is the front part, the scalloped piece. So you're going to cut that out on your machine. And then you're just going to fold it on the uh, score line there. And this is kiwi colored cardstock. If you don't have kiwi colored cardstock, you can use any of the other colors that we're going to be using today uh, to stamp. Secondly, you're going to need to have cut out the second largest piece of this die, which has the little scalloped edges and these holes cut out, because this is, as you can see, where we're going to be doing our stamping. Now, I've already gone ahead and I have um, stamped a whole bunch of this project simply because it's time consuming and I'm sure that you do not want to watch me go through and stamp and ink um, six different flowers. So what I have done is I have stamped and inked all of them except for one, this blueberry colored flower here. I'm going to show you how I use my mini Misty to line up the petals to stamp them. So this one, I did the outline in ocean and then we did the center of the flower with a polka dot in the color sea glass and then we stamped the petal with uh, what we're going to be using for the sky colored dye it's uh, basically a five petal flower on the petal of it this one is outlined in banana and then we did a polka dot in lemonade in the middle and solid lemonade for the petals this is a solid kiwi middle and kiwi polka dot petals this is solid uh, candy center and candy polka dot petals. This is pixie polka dot and pixie polka dot petals. And then we did a polka dot in sky for the center of this flower. And we're going to be using this particular um, stamp and it has flowers all over it. So I'm going to show you how to use my, how I use my mini Misty to uh, line up my petals. As I said, the reason I'm not showing you how to do all these is because it's time consuming and you don't want to watch me do it. It'll probably take you about five or, or 10 minutes to um, ink and stamp all this. And so I just figured you'd rather see me 
finish up the card, then watch me um, stamp my project. So all I'm going to do is just line up the, the petal and I'm going to take and then ink up the petal with sky colored ink and flip it over. Now, if that's not dark enough for you, then you just take and re-ink it. That's the great thing about the Mini Misty. It keeps everything lined up. And there you have it. So that's one petal. A couple more here to go. And I like to um, clean off my stamp in between, even if it's the same color dye. Because every once in a while, like here, you see I made a little um, leftover ink. And it tapped onto the white part of the card there. So we'll have to cover that up here and we'll see if our grape colored twine will cover up our little mistake there or I'll show you a couple of other things you could do to cover up your uh, accidents that happen sometimes when you're stamping so I think that I'm liking this better with two two rounds of the ink on the petals that just makes the pattern much more um, clear and crisp so I would recommend especially for the lighter colors of ink that you um, stamp it two times if you don't have a mini misty you can use what I have right underneath it's um, the Sizzix made by Stephanie Bernard she calls it the stamper secret weapon and it's very similar to the mini misty and you would just use an ink uh, block and because these stamps are clear, you can see straight through them to line them up with your um, outline of your flower. All right, last petal. And then all of them are done. So that's what the final product will look like. Once you're all finished um, stamping and inking all of your flowers. So that's the, the first part is done. So now we're going to put our card pieces uh, together. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna take this off here and I'm gonna get out my card base. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are going to glue this down and I think that what I'm going to do uh, this time I didn't do this last time last time I glued it down and then put the twine around it I think that this time I'm going to do the twine and tie it around first and then glue it down after and let's see if we can cover up this little mistake that I made here with my ink because I didn't just do it once I did it um, a couple of times so let's see if we can fix that. All right, I'll cut my twine a little bit longer and then we will fix that. There we go. All right, so what this is going to do is it's gonna cover up um, my little mistakes, my extra little ink marks that I have on um, my paper there. Oop. Maybe not here. Let's try that one more time. That's gonna work or not. Let's glue this down and then let's do the twine. Maybe that'll make it a little bit easier for me. So as you can see on the back, I have some stamping. And when I first was stamping in, I did it with the black and then I was doing it with the colored ink and I tried to do three um, petals all at the same time in different colors and it somehow got off from where it was supposed to be. So I turned it over which is what you can do. Take your mistakes and 
Use the back part of the project. Don't waste cardstock over one little mistake there. Restart it. So it looks just a little more stark, as you'll see with the black ink and the colored ink there. But you can definitely um, do that if you don't have all the colored inks like we talked about. So we're just going to turn that over and glue it down. Hold it down a little bit there. And now let's let's try this twine again here. I'm not gonna want to cover up that pink or the green. So let's go from the other way. Because on the pink and green is where we're putting our I'm just going to tie it in a knot. You can do a bow, but I'm just going to do a knot today. Like I said, if you do not have purple twine, you could use, we have a whole rainbow of colors here. You could use any one of those to, to tie around your project. So there's our twine. Now I did it a little bit different pattern here. I made it straight across. This one, I'm changing it up just a little bit and then the last thing we're going to do is glue down our buttons here so I have a kiwi button to glue down and a guava button and I find it easiest to use a glue tape to get these to stay down so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue tape on these I'm trying not to put glue there on my Stamper's secret weapon because if you get glue all over it, it makes it very difficult to use with adhesive stuck on it. So there you go. Now I am going to use uh, these at some point. I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet. So I am going to leave the um, middle of my card empty. Then if it's somebody's birthday, I can stamp happy birthday in the middle here. I could also take... Um, uh, a rectangle or a circle or an oval die and cut out something and glue it right here that says happy birthday but what I'm going to do is just leave this blank for now because I'm not sure whether I'm going to have a happy birthday whether I'm going to have a thank you card whether I'm going to have a good luck card uh, I'm just not sure so I'm just going to leave it blank for now and then that way I can have all kinds of possibilities when it's time to use the card so I hope that you enjoyed this card. Thank you for those who have started following me. Um, spread this video to your friends, share it, and uh, let them see how they can use their products from the stamp of Stamps of Life to make cards and make the best use out of the items that they're spending their hard-earned money on. Um, down below, click uh, like on this card, leave me comments, um, start following me on my page. I'm gonna start posting videos once a week. So I'm going to start using different uh, monthly products to show you how you can use uh, your items that you're buying to best use and uh, create some great cards with. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next episode.